YouTube. We are back again today for another episode of Bauer Family Learns. And today we're going to be learning exchange. Don't let the market play you. So I'm here with my seven-year-old son, Sean. Hi. And my lovely wife, Melina. Hi. And we are going to be, I'm going to be teaching them the game as I teach you the game. So hopefully you'll figure out how to play it as we go, as I teach them. So this is for three to six players. Age is 10 plus. It'll take about 35 minutes to play. And in exchange... This is a game where you are going to be buying stocks and bonds and bank tokens and manipulating the market and trying to make the most money. And whoever has the most money after five rounds and one market close phase is going to win the game. Now, normally I don't go over the setup, but I do want to uh, show you how the setup works because it's kind of cool, but it is kind of confusing. So each of us are going to be doing three phases. And in these three phases, you're going to pick one of these cards in each one and put it in there. And I'll show you how that works in a second. But you're going to start with a phase one, a phase two, and a phase three. And you're going to want to put all the cards into that. And we've got it all set up right here. So now we can just kind of get into the game. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out who you are. Because you're starting a company. And uh, we're trying to be the most rich company in the world. So let's just give each of us three of these. I think that's how it works. Oh, four of these. So you're just going to pick one of these cards. Now on these cards, it will have what your starting assets are. So when you have a company... You have employees, you have money, you have all sorts of different things. So this is means you'd have four banks, four bonds, six insurance, and that's how much cash you would start with, $300. And you're going to keep track of all that on this board you have in front of you. So if I were to pick Andrew Barclay as the person I wanted to be, I would start with four banks, four bonds, six insurance, and then I would take $300 cash. Now one thing I want to mention is the cash and your board is everyone's always allowed to see how much money everyone has, okay? So, because whoever has the most money is going to get a special ability, which we'll talk about a little bit later, uh, called the lobbyist. And I'll explain that when we get to phase three. So, let's see. I think I am actually going to... You know what? I don't want insurance. Insurance is dumb. I'm going with Gidgens McGebber, who's going to have ten bank, four bonds, and zero insurance. Uh, Hug Smith. Huh, Hugh Smith. All right, five, what do you got? Five banks, six bonds, two insurance, and $350. Okay, very, very nice. So set your board up like that. So slide that over to the five. And you're going to need to put use two hands because it's a little bit stiff. Who are you, dear? Leonard Bleeker. Now, were there any ladies in here, I wonder? I did not have. Ephraim, Ephraim might, Isaac, Samuel, Peter, Ephraim? and no. Augustine. So there may be, I don't know if Augustine's a male or female. The reason I asked no, that those is... those are all man names. The reason I asked that is because these are actually historical people that we're playing it. Gidgen McGevers was like a famous banker or stock marketer or something, and so was Hugh Smith, and so was well, Leonard Bleeker. Look right. them up and find out. So now He's everyone... Getting... Oh, you still said yours? Uh, you didn't set it to five, but you got to set it to five. And then six. So you see, you see how the little, uh, the diamond, or the, what is it? The triangle points down. That's the number you want to be at. So your bank would be at five. Your bonds would start at six. And then your insurance would be all the way down here at two. And then collect your money. I'm going to get one, two, three hundred. All right, so there, my money goes out in front of me. You got your money. Uh, and Sean, once you get down to two, you get $350. So now, we are going to decide who is the lobbyist, or who's going to get the lobbyist special ability. So in real life, there, well, I'll explain lobbyist to you. I've explained lobbyist to you before. There are people who pretty much have a lot of money, and so they get to do special things because they convince people in politics to do it. So whoever has the most money gets to be the lobbyist. I got 350. I have 300. Mommy has 100. So you'll get this, but you don't actually get to use that until round two, but you might lose it before that. But right now you are the lobbyist. So put all your money down here and we are ready to start the game. Now there's a really easy track that they have right here. For some reason they didn't put it on the board or the player reference cards or anything. Uh, so I would recommend when you start learning the game to have this right out in front of you because it's really going to help make things smooth. So the first thing you're going to do is your phase one, which is your security selection. So each of the five rounds, you are going to decide whether or not you are going to mess with your blue tracker, your green tracker, or your orange tracker. So each round, you're going to get a mess with one of those, okay? Um, now, 
Phase one is we're deciding which one we're going to mess with. Phase two, which we'll get, uh, we will do in a second, is you're going to decide how many you want to buy or sell. Because right now, you have, let's say you have five banks. So you might put blue in your phase one because you want to you mess with your banks, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe banks are really cheap. And so you want to buy banks because you want to try and buy things when they're cheap and then sell them when they're expensive. So if you buy a whole bunch of blue at $20 and then you sell it at $80, you're making a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what this game is all about. You try and buy things when they're low and sell things when they're high, okay? So that's phase two is you're going to pick one of these and you're, then you're going to make that decision. And then in phase three, you're actually going to manipulate the market value. And this is really simple. This is either you want blue to go up one or you want blue to go down one or you want green to go up one or you want green to go down one. Now in phase three, whoever has the lobbyist also gets the special ability to do two of those. But you don't get to do that the first round, Okay. So let's start off with phase one. And we all do this at the same time. And we're going to slide whichever card we want into right here. And then you're going to put it face down in front of you. Okay? And you don't want anybody to see it. Try and keep it secret. Even though it doesn't really matter in a three-player game. Well, I guess it could. All right, so you got it in front of you, everybody. So we're all going to put it in our sleeve and flip it over at the same time. One, two, three. Oh, I misunderstood what we were doing. Well, it's not a big deal. Banks, banks, banks. Whoa, so everybody is going to be doing banks this turn. Very interesting. So we'll keep these right over here for now because that's what everybody's going to be doing. Now, phase two, grab your phase two sleeve. And then you're going to decide... Whether or not you want to buy more banks, which right now they cost $50, but things are going to change, things are going to happen, or you can sell more banks, okay? Now, one thing I forgot to mention, which was really bad on me, is that you also, if you would like, there's one more thing you may do, and we can all do this, is you can pay $50 and you can see what the top card of the deck is. Because we're going to go through our phases, and then something is going to happen. Something in the world, in America, is going to happen. It's going to change the market. So I'll give you one example. So this one says, small business boom. The Federal Reserve lowers interest rates, resulting in increase in loans to small businesses. So banks go up by two. So we don't know what might happen, which means if you're planning on buying banks and you don't have enough money, it could be bad. Okay? So you could pay $50 to see what this card is. Does anyone want to do that? And you can do it whenever you want, honestly. Mm. You know what? I'm actually going to pay $50. I'm going to see what it does one time. That's probably going to be a waste of money. Okay. Well, we'll see. But either way, you can choose now what you want to do phase two, whether or not you want to buy which for all of us is going to be banks, or sell banks. Hmm. Yeah, you really want to look at this before phase one. That's, so in hindsight, if you want to look at the Market Forces card, I would recommend looking at it before you decide phase one, because oh, I now yay. would completely change what I did. Okay. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to pay 50 bucks. Um, okay. So what do I do? So you pay $50. So you put $100 in the bank, and then you get $50 back. Then I look at which it. Which now could potentially influence who has the lobbyist ability. Which it, it does not, though, because you still have more money than me. But it could. And so now you get to look at it. Now, since I've seen it, uh, all this stuff right here is just flavor text. That doesn't actually matter. This is the big thing that's going to happen, which means that color is going to do go up or go down that many, and that just dollars. So, for instance, let's say if blue was going to go up two plus two, it would go up to $70, which means if you're buying blue, it could get really expensive for you. Okay. So, okay. remember, that's what's happening. Hmm. Now, do you see why I would say that it might be really useful to figure that out in phase one? Uh, uh. And, Sean, if this is a little bit complex for you, don't sweat it. I can help you with it, all right? 
Is everything going smooth though for you? Yeah. So right now, you're gonna decide if you wanna buy or sell Banks, the blue one. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's, that's, that's not good. Do you have your card you're going to put in there, Sean? Yeah. All right, then put it into your phase two sleep. Where's phase two? Right there. Phase two. All right, so we'll flip them all over. Ready? All right. So, you are going to be... Oh, this is really nice how this works. So, Sean right now is buying banks. I am going to be buying banks, and we know Mommy is going to be selling banks. Mm. All right, so now we go on to phase number three, which is just a very simple, do you want banks to go up dollars or down dollars? Do you want insurance to go up dollars or down dollars? Now, remember, if you are buying something, you want the price to be lower, so you actually want the price to go down. If you're selling something, you want the price to go up. But there is one special exception, which I should now teach you, which is that sometimes the stock market can collapse. The price can get too high or the price can get too low. So if we ever get to 80 and the, the it says plus one, so we have to go up one. So let's say banks was at 80, then it, the card said plus two banks. It would actually go plus one, plus two. It would crash. The stock market would crash. You don't now, go to 10 or... 90? Only in a five or six player game, which they nicely marked right there. Okay. So, yep. I don't have my glasses on. I five or six players. Likewise, six players. if the market ever gets so low that it's like crazy low, it goes the opposite way. So it goes all the way up to 80. So there's two ways that you can move it either really big, either up or down. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So put your phase three card in. Get that side. There you go. All right. So I am going to be banks down one. Mommy's banks up one, and you are banks up one. No down. Oh, that 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 wanted to be down. Okay. So you got to make sure you put it in the right way. Not a big deal. It was supposed to be down though. And I do like how this looks. This looks very clean. That's pretty cool. All right. So we got all the information now. So those are the first three phases. So let's make sure we're doing everything exactly correct. We did security selection, phase one, phase two, phase three. Now we flip over a market force card, which me and Sean read about. There's national debt. Increased tax revenue lowers the value of bonds. So bonds are going to go down by two. And that actually happens right now. So bonds have just lost their value. So you have a lot of bonds. So that's like... So that's like every single one of these four things you have losing $20. That's really bad. So for instance, let's say if banks went down to 20, that would be really bad for me. Because all, you know, does that make sense to you? Yeah. All right. So we've done the market forces. And now then we are going to adjust the market. See, isn't this thing really useful? Should have yeah. been a player aid card. So yeah. banks are going, so uh, banks are going to go overall. Down two, up one, so down one. And then we do the final one, which is we buy and we sell. So we flip over our buy card. So for me personally, I bought, is that mine? I don't think that's mine. I bought three. Maybe you shouldn't have messed them up. Yeah, I shouldn't have. So I bought three of them. So how is this going to work? I have to pay three times 40, so I'm going to pay 100 and $20, which means I get $30 back. But then I get to go up three on the banks track. So one, two, three. So now I have 13 banks and only $130. All right. Now, Sean, you also buy banks and you bought one bank. So you're going to pay $40. And how much will you get back? Um, I don't know. 
If you spend $50, if you have $50 and you spend 40, how much will you have left? One? $10. Oh. $10. So you'll get $10 back, and then you're going to up one on the bank track from five to six. Then mommy sold two of hers. So mommy's going to get $80. And she's going to go down two on the bank track. And then we take back all of our cards. Which I think I gave some of the wrong cards to the wrong people. Oh, dang it. Okay, that Mine was, says sell two. That would be mommy's two. Yeah, let's keep those more you, organized. You, okay, it does make a big deal. It yes. does. Buy <laughs> one. And now I know. Banks, banks. And so now we see who has the most money in their hands. I have $130. I have... How much is this? $260. Mommy might have... 50 180 So... I only the, started with 100 The lobbyist stays with you. So now, since it's round two, when we get to phase three, you're going to be able to manipulate the market plus two, either up or down. It's a big thing. All right? And then we just do that over and over again. So would you like to spend $50 to look at the Market Forces card? I will once again. I will once again, too. I would like to know what's in the future. Do, are you going to pay the $50, too? Yeah. Nope. All right. I am, but... So wait. this is... I just want to see what happens. <laughs> Don't... Can you read that, Sean? Don't read it out loud. Yeah, I'll hold it right there. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. So that goes back on the top. And now we go to phase one once again. We just rinse, wash, repeat. So we all are going to secretly decide if we are dealing with the green, the red, or the blue. Well, I need to get my green and mm. blue in. I need to mm. get my green and red in. Where are they? What? There they are. Mm. And the back of the cards has what, what phase it is, which kind of helps sort them out as well. All right, phase one. What are we working with this time? Okay, okay. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Feeling this good. is what I want. Boom. That's what's up. This is what I want. You don't have to hold it, buddy. Oh, that's too high. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what we got. I've got bonds. Sean's got insurance. And Mommy's got bonds. Why are you in the bond market with me, dear? I was hoping to do this myself. Okay. Oh, no one did the insurance market. Okay. Well, that yes, means you can do what you want with insurance. No one can stop you. All right. So now oh, we move on to phase number two, where you are going to pick. I put my phase number one out like a noob. B. Scooby. No, B. Scooby. Now phase two. All right. What's going on? Oh, there's a thing. Got it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. I'm not doing anything with insurance. I can. It's not going to really change what I do if I see yours. All right. So flip them over. I'm going to buy insurance. Oh yes, we're on the same. Sell. Wavelength. I'm going to sell some insurance. Uh. So now uh, we have to do phase number three. Now, one thing I want to mention in phase three, it specifically says in the rules. You do not have to pick what you did in phase one. So I could manipulate insurance or banks even though I picked bonds in phase one. That's perfectly fine. Where Where's my last phase three? Is it still in your phase three card? 
No. Let's see. Phase two, phase two, phase two. I'm probably going to guess that I stole it. That seems like something I would do. Nope, I only have three of them. I didn't steal it. Don't accuse me of that, Sean. You, you go around things. accusing me all the time, stealing your insurance cards. You only it's have three? not an insurance. It's... Where is? That is weird. Where is your card? Two, 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 two. Oh, there it is. Man, but it's amazing what happens one when you pile. look. Look in the phase one pile that had three cards still. Uh, okay. Well, he also could have looked as well. So I think we're going to do... Hmm. I'm afraid of what you might be doing. But I'm not... <laughs> Imagine if this were six players. Yeah. Imagine if it was six players. Oh, you also get to do your lobbyist as well. Oh, so yeah, don't forget lobbyist. to decide what the lobbyists want to do. And it can be the exact same thing that you do if you want. All right, Mr. Lobby Dude. You do this. I'm so glad you're not older, Sean. I'm so glad you're not me right now, Sean. <laughs> Because if I was Sean, I would crash that green market so hard. Because if you cannot afford to buy something, it's uh, it's it's pretty bad. Or you can't... Second phase three. You have to liquidate some of your other color at half value. What what do you what is it? Oh, I'm having a second thought about the influence. I did not say that, so I think you could also have a second. You could change your um, phase two as well, because that is really depending on the number you have. So if you want to, I no, I just started thinking about things a little bit more. Okay. What were you thinking about? I did not see this ending well for me. Sorry. All right, so. Start with, so now that we've, uh, flip it over. Oh, wait, yeah. I did insurance plus one. And I did... Probably you didn't raise the price. Oh, yes, good, good, good. I no, did. but I wondered if... Oh, Sean... no, Sean! No, but I wondered if Sean would, so it counts, cancels out the green. Um... So Sean, that was yours. What's the uh, what's the lobbyist? No, the lo that was that the was lobby. the lobbyist. The lo that's Sean's. Sean oh did no! So uh, okay, Sean, <laughs> Sean just made a very interesting play, which I like. But let's let's do this order of operations okay. correctly. Market force card. Me and Sean wasted fifty dollars to find out that the market's pretty stable. There's gonna be no effect this round. Bye bye. One hundred dollars. Womp womp. So, <laughs> now we go to the adjust market, which is that insurance is going to stay the same, and bonds are going to stay the same, which now means we reveal phase two. So, I have bought four insurance. I have sell. Slow down. I bought so we're going to do mine one at a time, because I have to explain something right now, okay? Okay. So, I have to buy four insurance, which is going to the cost bonds. me... Sean, put your hands down. Please. You've got bonds up there. Oh, buy four bonds. Sorry. Oh, wait. Yes. Well, either way, it's going to happen. So, I bought four bonds, which is going to cost me $120. However, I only have $80, which means I still need to come up with the remaining $40, which means I have to sell some of my other stuff at half price. Which really stinks, because now I have to sell two of my blue, blue costing 40 to make the additional $40 that I did not have. So I essentially, that was not a very good turn for me. But I now have four of the green. So, or uh, eight of the green, excuse me. Because I bought four more. So, Sean, that was a very good play by you. You just hurt me in a very big way. So, awesome. 
All right, so Sean, what did you do? You sold insurance? Mm-hmm. Okay, so typically, buddy, just so that you know, huh. when you're selling something, you want to sell it at a higher price. So you don't want to lower. Mm -hmm. You want the insurance to go up. Well, it stayed where it is. Well, that's because you put a negative one and I put a plus one. Otherwise, it would have gone up too and you would have sold it at $70 instead I, of 50 I think you were actually, I thought you were going to buy more. Uh, so, since you are still learning this game, if you want, we can let you flip that card. You don't have to actually flip it, which would mean the insurance price would go up to 60 Do you want to do that? Yeah. Since you're still learning the game. Okay. So, you get, you're selling two. You have two. So $60 each, you've made $120. So your insurance would then go back down to zero, too, okay? After you get your $120. So you made some cash. And remember, at the end of the game, whoever has the most cash plus the most value of your stocks is going to win the game. Okay. And then, Mommy, what'd you get? I bought two bonds. You did not go into default like me? No. Well, good. I'm glad one of us is financially responsible. 16. All right. So grab all your cards from up there, Sean. Try not to get them mixed up with anybody. And Sean, you have a special lobbyist one, so next time put it in there, okay? Oh. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So grab all your stuff. And then we will move on to phase three. Uh, we do need to... Oh, Sean, be careful, dude. You can't bump this. Okay, it was at 60. Is it 60? Okay. Yeah, it was at 60. This was at 30 and that was at 40? My stuff mm -hmm. is lowering in value. Uh, so let's check to see who has the lobbyist right now. I have zero dollars, so I don't think it's me. I have 120. And I think Sean, yep, Sean's still got a lot of more money. So mm -hmm. we go back to phase number one. So what are you going to be dealing with this time? You can also spend $50 if you'd like to look at the Market Forces card. I imagine it will probably help more than last round's did. Yeah, I'm good. At least I would hope so. Are you doing that? I have zero dollars, so, so I will not be doing it. Oh, yeah, you can. I cannot do I'm it. I'm going to do okay. it. Okay. So, remember, flip it over, but make sure, uh, so put it so people can see it and you can see it. And me and Mommy won't look away. And remember, the information, the important information is at the bottom. So either the price of something is going to go up, what? which means you want to sell it, maybe, or the price is going to go down, in which case you might want to buy it. So if that said, like, if it said, like, orange was going to go up three, you might be like, man, I'm going to buy some orange or something. you got to be kidding me. Do you understand what it says, though? Yes. All right, so put it face back down right here. Mommy could still buy it or look at it if she wanted to. I don't think she will, but she could. All right, so I have, and then put out your phase one. And Wait, seeing I that. I have my phase one. Seeing that might change what you're going to do with your phase one. Wait, so where are my, where's my phase one cards? Can you try to keep them organized, please, Sean? Always make sure they're back in the same pile. Okay? One, two, three. Here, right here. And there's your phase one. Is your brain wrapped around the game yet, Sean? Not quite? A little bit? Phase three. Sean, this is a mess. You can't do this, bud. In this game, you have to keep it very organized, okay? Okay. All right. So put your phase one card out there and then flip three, them over. There's your three. I'm dealing with banks. Bonds. Sean's dealing with bonds. Oh, we all got to do whatever we want. All right. Phase number two. Oh, what yeah. are you going to do? Okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. Phase two, card initiated. Maybe I'm buying stuff, who knows? With my zero dollars. I don't, I think you're selling. I think you're wrong. All right. I think I'm right. I will be selling banks. I will be buying bonds. They are very, very low right now. All right, last but not least, phase three card. Manipulate the market. Hey, market. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Come 
not get through this, through this. Look away, look away, look, there's a birdie. Okay. All right. I'm just going to steal this. And don't forget to do your lobbyist card as well, Sean. No, put them. What, yes. do you just want to double that card? What are you, what are you talking about? Do you want to double whatever that card does? Now make sure you're putting it the right way. You could do that yes. with your lobbyist, and that's going to save us time, because you're, you're taking a little bit longer on your turn with this. Do you want to double what it, it does? flip it over make sure it says the right thing. Mm -hmm. You do want to double it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I don't want to hear my lobbyist. You just, we can just say we're doubling it. Okay. Bam! Bank's up by one. Insurance up by one. Bank's up by two. Wow. Thanks. Okay. I like it. I'm a big fan. Let's see what the market does. Sean, you know you're dealing with bonds. He does have six banks, though. I mean, but... I know, I know. He made the choice. Uh, uh, it may... That really helped me out, The yes. thing, when I looked at this, it really cracked me up. I oh, stable, stable market. market. Another stable market. We've lost 150 bucks on that grand total. All right, so... All right, so insurance goes up one. Yippee! Banks go up... Four. Three. Three. Oh One, my two, goodness! Three. Yeah, and bonds don't move. <laughs> bonds don't move. Wow! I, I see, am Blair, I really see. happy that I decided to sell nine shares of banks at seventy bucks a pop. <laughs> wow! That brother. is oh my gosh! It's six hundred and thirty dollars. I'm conservative over here. I only did three. I was taking a big risk there, and honestly, when I saw him putting banks in there, I thought he was going to shaft me like he shafted us last turn. I <laughs> don't know if he quite understands how that's supposed to work. There's a wild card element to the stock market, and our son is the <laughs> the X factor to create making that happen. And the lobbyists, I believe, all of a sudden have come running to me. Uh, so you bought how many bonds did you buy? Wait, did you look at your cards yet? So you bought one bond, which means you spend thirty dollars. So spend thirty dollars. How do I do that? You give them fifty, and then you put you get twenty back. With the just pretend. Oh yeah, don't put it in mommy's money. Pretend like that's just a five, and that's just a one, and this is just a ten. I think that'll be the easiest way for you to do that. So five minus three. What is it, Sean? What's five minus three? Two. See, so just just take off the last zero on these, and I think it'll be a little bit easier for you. And then you also go up one on your bond track to seven. So wait. You sold. I'm getting way more money than I needed to. Three. Okay. Uh, so you get two hundred ten dollars. Yeah, I was gonna take way more money than I needed. Okay, that's not. All right. So take your cards back, Sean. Yeah, that's mine. And keep them in order. And the lobbyists have now seen the money and they are coming to me. Hey, lobbyists, what's up? I was going to say, where's my I've face? got $330. I'm sure mine? you have a lot more than I do. Oh. I took a big risk. Hey, and... someone took mine. What? Babe, watch what you're taking. What? Yeah, you put this over there. I have mine. These two, never mind. I'm the one that got confused. Dear, there. watch what you're taking. Lord yeah. Almighty. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, we are back to phase one, and I'm going to pay the $50. I got cash to blow. Why not? I'm not. I'm not oh, wasting I, money. This is big. I really need to make sure I bump this down to two because now I've sold that. Watch so, where you're putting your things, dude. But I, I will be looking be at the market forces. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's what we're going on. Okay, okay. What does that mean? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I understand it now. Anybody else looking at that for $50? No. Okay. I'm, st I'm not wasting my money. Yes. Wow, that is really... Yeah. Yes. You're looking at it? Understood? Mm -hmm. Very interesting one. All right. Phase one. Mm, 
Yeah, but I'm not missing it. That. Mm. Missing mm. this. Oh my good gravy. That's an interesting one. That was a very interesting one. Boom. Ah, uh, what do we got? I'm on the upside down insurance. I'm on banks the and banks. I got my own lane. Hey, right. get out of get out of the bank store, Mom. Alright, so now buy or sell phase number two. Do we have to put them in the card that holds them? Yes. Why? Because I want you to learn how to put it in there properly. Which you just did! Booyah! Well, hopefully it's properly. If not, we'll figure it out. Alright, and then last, phase number three. And remember, you have the lobbyist. How can I forget? He took me out to dinner. We had crab bisque. I was like, really? $30 crab bisque? He said, trust me. It's the best crab bisque you've ever had in your life. Best crab bisque I've ever had in my life. It's good stuff. Okay. Okay, brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, brother. All right. Play your card. I feel like people who play the crab market eat substantial... Or the, who, play, who play the stock market eat substantially more crab bisque than your typical people. I think that is a fair statement. Tip. Right. I don't think many low-income families Make are eating sure crab bisque. Make sure it's going the right way, Sean. The way that you want it. We're also on phase three, and you just put a phase two card in there, I do believe. He did not. Oh, I cannot read my numbers. Yeah, buddy. Sorry. it's It's been something that I've been trying to work on since childhood. It's a very sensitive topic. No, you didn't. To the market to, forces. Weren't we supposed to reveal our phase two? Well, yeah, we probably should have done that. Uh... I'm selling. I'm buying. Wait, that's not how I want it. But flip it. You want to sell banks? <laughs> I was going to say, I hope you're not. Well, maybe. <laughs> no, you never know. Sell. All right. And then phase three, influence. Insurance is going up, baby. So, first, oh, market force cool. card. And everything is going this is up. One. Oh, I screwed myself out of ninety dollars. Sean, huh. you mean eighty? Okay. So Sean, now, Sean did us too. So the banks are going to stay the same. Wait, that's good. Right. Sean did. Oh, plus one. Yeah, because I I wanted to get more money. Well, yes, they are gonna. No, never mind. I counted. Everything it worked night. out well. And I countered it. Goes one two. Which means the stock market has crashed on insurance. And so now go ahead and buy however much you can buy. I'm dying nine oranges for $270. Wow, that lobby is right, a I'm very buying. powerful card. I'm selling, sorry, selling six banks. I'm Ooh. selling two six. banks. So it's, a, so it's a, uh, $160 for you. And don't forget to go down two on your bank track. I bought insurance when it was low back after the crash. Babe, help me out with the math. My brain's not working. Six. Six 80. times nine. Six and eighty. Oh, so six wait, times... how much did I get? Because we're at eighty. We don't do the ninety. I gave myself too much money last time. I get. I need to take back ninety dollars. So I'm glad you noticed that. Sorry. Six times eighty. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Yes. Eight sixteen twenty four four hundred eighty dollars. How many? Money. Money did I get? Two. Four. You bought. You sold two, right? Two banks. Yeah. For $80, $160. Okay. Three, four, hundred. Not like 80. All right. And take back all your cards. Count your money, too. People should not let me do math. All right. Um, this is why I have you, babe. Um, Don't you work with I math all day? But that's like I don't have to do the math. Oh. I don't really think I can do this. 50. I'm going to trade those in for 50. Uh, I am 
no longer the big dog. I have a $230. Can you see how much money I got? Can you count? So, why don't you sort it out first? That might make it easier. Yeah, oh, pile them up into the same amounts. Three hundred. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do with all of these. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. $50. What if he wants to go to the club? 30, 40, 50. He's seven. <laughs> the dance club. Okay, so now you have two 50s, which make 100. Okay. Okay, so I have. How much money do I have? More how than me. How much do you have? Count your 100s, count them like ones. 100, 200, 300. 300, 400. I have 410. More than mm -hmm. me. So mommy has 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 760 dollars. So mommy will now be eating the crab disc, um, <laughs> lobster bisque, lobster. and this, uh, I don't know if this, we have, I don't think it's got bump, I think this is our final round. No, the, the market close is one phase, didn't you say that? Yeah, but it's just, the market close, so we have, so we have the fifth round, and the market close is just us manipulating the stock market one more time. I took your phase too, here. Hey, buddy, did you know that? Oh. I just grabbed it, okay? She's greedy. Why don't you take your cards back, Sean? Yeah. All right, phase one. Let's roll. Go. One of those. No, it wasn't. You can also pay $50 to see what the markets are doing. I will do that. Nope. Yep. I'm not spoiling the surprise. Where's my 50? Ooh, this is a very what? interesting Where's my other one. Phase Let me understand ones? it for a second. Where's my other phase ones? Sean, this is why I told you to keep them in a pile. Ah. Oh. Phase one, phase one, phase I'm one. Still, I'm letting them oh. read it, too. It's very, Sorry. You can't read it. Well, you can, but don't read it. Let's pay 50 cheating. bucks. Yes, it would. Most. Um, that's really interesting. Interesting. Okay. That's interesting. Huh. <laughs> okay. I need to get my phase, oh. my phase one card. I have to put it in. I don't know what to do with that. I feel like you definitely have more control over it since you have more money. But that gives me some... Huh. That's a really interesting one. That makes me think that the Make rest sure of these... these are clear as to where they're at. Each game is going to be slightly different based on some of the, what cards you get of those. Because those are, those are really interesting. Well, and how many players you have. Yeah, yeah. How many? What's the player count on this? It's up to six. Three to six. So you have a lot of control over that because you have more money than me. But no, I don't. Yep. Oh, oh, but am I allowed to look at that again? Yeah, let me make sure I understood it too. Oh, so um, it is a a bad thing is going to happen to the one that is. No. Yes. It depends on how you look at it. Um. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't look at that. It, it's a, it's, it's not a thinker. necessarily a bad thing. Not, well. It's definitely interesting, but it's not necessarily bad. No, I guess it could potentially if you, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Hmm. Mm. I don't know what to do. I'm really super confused. Let's see. We'll do that. Then learn how to count. <laughs> my, 
my counting ability is either here nor there on this. I am dealing with banks. Mommy's dealing with banks. Yay, I'm at the bomb Sean store. Sean is dealing with myself. bombs. By myself. Phase Please two. Buying or selling and how much? Where's that card? I know it's somewhere in this. Phil, you gotta keep more organized. Here's all your phase two cards. I'm oh, why did I do that? The phase two slot. Now I gotta think. Oh, man. Did you look? It's right there. All you had to do is move this one phase three card. You gotta get better looking, man. No, 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 no. I saw it. I saw it. Is this, this is the last one? This is the last one. Then we just do one market manipulation phase, which will literally just be us be picking up or down one, and then we total up how much money you have along with how much your banks, your bonds, and your insurance are worth. And that is the end of the game. I'm just going hard on money. Oh, man. So it's not just how much money you have. No. It also is these. Also, when it does get to the market phase, it's important to note that the no lobbyist on the market close. Whoever is the lobbyist will not impact there. Nope. So we don't go through all the phases on the market close? Nope. Just straight up manipulate the market. See who won. Oh, I know what I'm going for. If I want okay. to go hard on the money. And then we do three. So do your influence, and do you also get the lobbies. No, we got to reveal these. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always forget that. Selling. Buying. Selling. What's wrong? What's everybody laughing at? Mommy has more money than me, and the <laughs> lobbyists are hanging out with her now. They said we'd be friends even if I were poor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, are we flipping over our number three yet? Hold on. Mommy's got, mommy's got to do it for two. You can't, you're not doing lobbies. I yes, am. she is. Oh, yeah. I think the bank's price should go up. You agree, dear? You really want it to go up? Well, you got the lobbyist. Here's what 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 what, 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 what why did you What's it going? What's Yeah, the price is going to go up one because you're buying. What do you what do you what do you Well, let's 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 just do this. Market forces. Add up the total quantity from phase two of each security being bought. And the bought. most loss. Yes, bought. which is the only person. You're, you're the only person doing it. So it goes up it's by one. It's the most bought one. Yes. So that's going to go up one. So it goes to 20. Yes. And now it's going to go up oh. two more. And then go and down then one. And then back down one. Yes. Because I am buying four of them. Okay. At $30 instead of at 40 or $50. However, it would have ended up. Yeah, and $50. I realized that you were going to have more power than me, so I just said, you know what, we need the banks to go up, so at least I'm going to make a little bit more money when I sell both my banks. So I got, I got 60 bones. So, it's going up one, so this is... Did we already move it? No. Oh, we need, sorry, so bonds go plus one, yeah. And then, what What'd you sell? What did you sell? Nine of them. You don't have nine. You only have seven. So you can sell seven of them for $350. Yep. I told you I was going hard on money. Oh, yeah. You got to so get $350. And then we have our one last market manipulation. And everything is terrible. The whole stock market has crashed. It's 30 and 30 and 50. So this is the last phase. All you have to do is just 
pick you don't even need to slide it into your thing just pick your influence card and we'll reveal them all at the same time uh whether or not you want these things to go up or your things to go down so remember so Wait, for you so sean for you the only viable choice would be you would want banks to go plus one uh because well i don't have my bonds well then get it oh there it is <laughs> okay we're gonna go with uh what do you got Dan? so what what's the got? idea here uh, in theory, whatever you have the most, so if you have, say, 24 of something and it's at $80, so this is where we kind of want to look at everybody, what everybody's doing. We should have been looking at what everybody's doing the whole time. I wasn't going to get into it because Sean was really kind of not picking it up. So let's say that someone has 24 of something and it's at $80. It's in your best interest, the group's best interest, because we don't want that person to win because they're definitely going to win, scoot your head back, uh, to crash that market. So this is literally just us having one last opportunity to raise the cost of our stocks or lower the cost of our stocks, helping us, hurting other people. Uh, it, it, but with a six-player game, once again, I think this would be very exciting because, I mean, it could potentially have big swings, huge financial swings. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. You got it? You got it, Sean? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Insurance is going up. Bonds are going up. Banks is going up. up. Uh, uh. Okay. And so now we will do the total score. Would you like, who wants to get their score done first? Me. Figure, oh, yours is going to be way easier because yours is mostly money, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred and fifty, seven hundred and sixty, and four. Times 40, so that's 160, so you have $920. Wow. Why'd you just bump that to five? Oh. You have $920. Remember that, right? $920. $920. You want yours next year? Yes. All right. 920. You got it? Yes. It's cleared out of my brain. One, two, three, four, five. 550, 560, 570, 580, 590. So you got $590. Four, uh, 590 plus 160 is 750 oh mommy uh 750 plus 360 let's give you 1110 and 120 is 1230 dollars dear Woo, that might be the number that might be the winner 1230 for me i have one two 230 bucks and i have eight green oh that could help not enough uh which would be 480 plus 230 so that's 710 dollars plus 710 450. I have eleven hundred and eighty dollars. One hundred and ninety. So I like barely beat yeah, you. That was a good game. That's uh, awesome. I got one hundred and ninety. That is not correct. You had way more than one hundred and ninety. How much did I have? Wait, wait. No, I'm Are you what? I mommy won. She I, won. It doesn't matter. Mommy mommy beat yeah, you mommy, by a long shot. Mommy beat me by a little bit and she beat you by a lot. But I would expect that because uh stock market manipulation is a pretty big concept for a seven-year-old and i think this is the first time where we really come to a game where i can see well and considering he's just learning money anyway and mm -hmm. how to add it together well, i think he did pretty well yeah so what'd you think about the game sean i liked it what'd you think about it dear i liked it i liked it I it was okay can i have the money please so i can put it in order Okay. Well, there you go. That is Exchange. Hopefully, you will know how to play it. Know if that is a game for you or not. I do believe I did like the Alpha better, which is another game they just came out with yeah. about the same weight and complexity. I personally like that one a little bit better. Me what, too. What do you think, dear? I like the Alpha I like better. Alpha. But there you go. If you enjoy what we're doing, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you support the channel, consider supporting the Patreon down below. Or, and in the comments below, let me know. Sean, you got a, you got a question? If you could have money between 1 and 125, what would you pick? I'll take $125. $125. $125. <laughs> I don't 
All right. Let me know in the comments below. You can have any amount of cash between $1 and $125. How much would you like? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.